people can kind of pandemic proof their life and their home. When we came here and started doing the show with just the two of us, my husband, John and myself, we we started cooking from the pantry as if we were on some sort of, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, scout, you know, adventure or something. And, and we've we've changed our lives around a lot now and we don't we don't panic. But I, I know a lot of folks, we go in and out yeah. of ups and downs and ups and downs. That's so right. uh, what did you want to speak to about that? So in the book, Rachel, I really go through how people can kind of pandemic proof their their life and their home and, you know, develop this resilience toolkit. And so there are a couple of things and I have them here. I want to show you. So first of all, everyone should have like a little medical kit. So this is mine. And in here, I have my prescription medications oh. on one side and, you know, bandages, over the counter stuff on the other side. Now is a good time to stock up. You don't want to wait till two in the morning. Um, also, two thermometers, okay? Um, mm -hmm. You never know when you're going to lose one or one's not going to work well. And then a smartwatch that I use, you know, to check my heart rate. It can check your pulse oximeter. John so has the app, oxygen. actually. He has the app on the phone, right? Same thing. That's right, correct. And so, you know, taking these steps... Give you gives you a sense of control over a situation that is oftentimes seems out of control. But uh, everything is in the book to hopefully make this new normal a little bit more palatable. Doc, this yeah. isn't normal, right? This isn't correct. Uh, you're right. It's not new anymore because it's been a year and it's not normal. But the reason I wrote this book and called it the new normal is because after being and living all things COVID for the last year plus, day in, day out, speaking to the country's top public health officials. Tony Fauci is on speed dial on my cell phone, Aww. et cetera. <laughs> I love that man. <laughs> you know, I heard uh, from viewers, I heard from my patients, I heard from friends and family um, that they wanted more than like the two minute television segment. So I wanted to help yes. people. Think tools. like a doctor. Right. And give them tools. Right. Yes. I am always listening and trying to learn. But the problem with the way it's digested, and you and I do this for a living, we have to talk in snippets and sound bites and right. little bits and pieces. You never get the answer. You never get to what do you do? Not recognizing the problem, and I hear you, but now what? <laughs> <laughs> totally. And the thing is that with this pandemic, we are learning something new about this virus every day. So I didn't want to just put together a bunch of facts that tomorrow might be out of date. You know, we have we have to learn how to think like doctors to avoid the medical headline whiplash. And so really everything about Thinking like a doctor is in this book so that it can help you navigate those headlines and make the best decisions so that we can get on with life.